Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a GRE tunnel between two routers. And uh, for my uh, example here, I'm going to be using Dallas and Atlanta. So the point is, uh, this is going to be, say, Office A in Dallas, Office B in Atlanta, routing through the internet. Okay, that's the tunnel that we're going to be theoretically creating. Now, uh, in GNS3 here, I have to use a serial connection, and I have to use uh, just... Uh, public addresses in the same subnet. Okay, just be aware that if you were doing a GRE tunnel in real life and you were connecting like the Dallas and Atlanta offices, they don't have to be in the same subnet. These IP addresses because you can route over the internet, and you can go from like say uh, public address one 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 to public address two 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 two. Okay, so uh, just be aware of that. In this. Uh, scenario here just because uh, I'm using GNS3 like I said I'm my public addresses are matching yours don't as long as you specify the source and the destination address in your tunnel configuration so let's get to it I'll walk you through it and uh, well, before I do uh, think about this why would you want to use a GRE tunnel okay G uh, GRE stands for generic route encapsulation so basically what it does is it takes a packet uh, here let's say we're gonna this tunnel is going to be uh, from Dallas to going to Atlanta. Uh, you have your packet created here and you send it to the router to go to Atlanta. Well the GRE tunnel all that's going to do is it's just going to add another header with that tunnel information that you uh, entered in on this Dallas router. Okay and uh, vi with Atlanta vice versa same thing. So uh, similar to a VPN but this supports multicast traffic a VPN doesn't. So the thing is what you would be able to do with the GRE tunnel is that you would be able to use, say, OSPF, and uh, OSPF uses multicast, well, pretty much all routing protocols use multicast messages to propagate their routes across the network. So what would happen, and we're going to do this at the end, is we're going to have OSPF set up on this whole network, and we're going to have OSPF propagating this network, the 192.168.0.0 network. We're going to be propagating it through the public network, to the private network again. Okay, so that's kind of the power of GRE. Uh, remember, you can't really, you can't really use a public or a private address in a public space because, uh, you know, I'm using 192.168.0.0 that subnet, and probably millions of other people are too. So, hundreds of millions probably, if if not more. So, uh, that's the whole point with uh, setting up a GRE tunnel is you can exchange routes over. You, c you can exchange private routes over a public network, okay? So uh, through that tunnel that we create. So let's go to it now, create that tunnel, and uh, just show you in the topology what I did. Uh, fast Ethernet 00, zero on, both of the, on this side. So the 192.168.0.0 subnet, that's going to be this local area network. And here, like I said, uh, just because I'm using the one serial connection, my subnet has to ma uh, match here. But you can do it to different uh, non-matching subnet, non-matching public IP addresses on uh, on the internet. Because you know, if you had a cloud here, it would be routed through that internet. So uh, just got my public addresses here, and then this private network again. Okay, so let's get to it, and I'll uh, kind of walk you through as we go. So first thing, we'll just, let's uh, do it on the Dallas router, and I'll just walk you through. Okay, get into global config mode, and you're going to say interface tunnel. And you can use any number. I'm just going to use one. They don't have to be the same. Uh, like Atlanta, I'll use a different number. But uh, next, we're going to go tunnel source. And the source here is going to be right here. So there's two. Well, there's more than that. But in our case, uh, an option is serial 0 slash 0 I can put in, or I can put in the source IP address. So here I'm going to say serial 0 slash 0. And then we're going to say tunnel destination. And that is going to be right here, destination IP address. So I'll put that in, 166.12.12.254. Okay. Last thing we need to do is we need to give the tunnel an address itself. So I'm going to use the, uh, another private address. I'm going to say IP address 172.16.20.1. And give that a 30-bit mask. No shut. Okay. 
So right there, we configured the tunnel on the Dallas side. Let's uh, double check. So do show IP interface brief. And you can see right there, tunnel zero is up. Okay. So let's do it on the Atlanta side. And uh, I'll walk you through that one. So again, global configuration mode. And we're going to say interface tunnel one. It can be 111. Let's just do that. Point is, the numbers don't have to match there. What does have to match is that the tunnel source for here, let me just start it. Okay, the source here has to be the destination from Dallas, so they're going to swap. So source and destination here are going to be destination and source here. Okay, so just be aware of that. They, they swap. Okay, so just uh, keep that in mind. Tunnel source, like I said though, for that tunnel source, uh, we can use the serial 0 slash 0 or in this case 166 at 12, 12, 2, 5, 4. Okay, whatever works for you. And then tunnel destination. All right, that is going to be this one, 166. So Atlanta's destination would be Dallas's source. Okay, it takes a couple times to go through it and kind of get that, but uh, it's not too bad. 166, 12, 12, 2, 5, 3. Okay, now shut. Do show IP interface brief. Okay, and let's see, what did I do wrong? Oh, I didn't add an IP address. Okay, so IP address 172, and that is going to be 16222255. No, shut. Whoops. Okay. Do show IP interface brief. And there you go. Okay. So tunnel 111 doesn't matter. This could be like 65,999. Whatever you want. But uh, what does have to match is the subnets of the tunnel itself. Okay. That's what we have right there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to demonstrate that this works. How we're going to do that, we're going to set up OSPF on both of them. I'm just going to copy and paste with this and just briefly uh, show you what I did. So let's uh, just copy for the Dallas router, paste it in. Okay, so router OSPF created that. Uh, the networks right there. So we're going to be the network is the tunnel network, okay? 172.16.20, that's the tunnel IP address, so that's what we have to specify for OSPF. And we also are going to specify our local area network there, okay? And let's do that on Atlanta. And after that, we should be able to verify these things are working, okay? Like I said, OSPF, you don't have to have the same thing. They have to be in the same area. Okay, process ID doesn't have to be the same. And we can already see the, adjacens, uh, the adjacency is done. It's loaded. So let's go show IP route. And you should see the OSPF route. And take a look. It's a private address space learned over OSPF going through the public internet right there. Okay, so that's kind of the power of GRE right there. Let's do a show IP route here on Dallas. And you can see again right there, all right, so your 10 network, let's see, we're on Dallas here, so the 10 network from Atlanta is on the Dallas route right there. Okay, let's do some end-to-end -end pings, and uh, we'll finish this out here. So we are on the Dallas PC, so let's ping, so we're on Dallas PC, we're going to ping all the way to Atlanta, and see if it works. It's going to go through that GRE tunnel. Okay, so let's uh, show that route again. Now uh, where are we at? Oh, here we go on the this one. And you also see it was learned via that tunnel zero. Okay, the OSPF, and here as well, it's going to be learned via that tunnel. Okay, so we're going to go ping ten o oh, ten ten, and we'll give it a couple uh, pings for getting those ARP requests and it works right there. Let's do a ping here. So ping and we're going to say 192, 168, 0.10 and that works too. Okay, so we just verified connectivity right here uh, over that tunnel. Okay, so what's happening is it's sending it here. This is sending it through the tunnel that we created 
and then it's going through and uh, propagating like it should be. A couple other things just to, to verify. So I already showed you show IP interface brief. Okay, and you can see you have your tunnel there. One other thing you can do is to go show interface tunnel. Uh, let's see, tunnel 111. So let's go to tunnel 111. And you can see right there if you want. Shows the address of your tunnel. Okay, it shows your uh, MTU right there. And a uh, tunnel source destination. Okay, so all your tunnel information is going to be in your show interface tunnel right there. It shows all the packets sent, received, any problems, any things like that. So let's do a show interface tunnel. And what number is this? Let's just double check. What are we at here? And that is tunnel zero. So tunnel zero. And the same thing right there. Okay. Tunnel is up. The address of the tunnel, source, and the destination. Okay. And a lot of other uh, information on there that you can look at and packets and things. You can troubleshoot with those. So uh, GRE tunnels. Like I said, they're uh, pretty useful, especially for uh, basically, like I said, propagating the private addresses and private networks, you know, via with your routing protocols, sending them over a public network to a, you know, to your uh, other remote site, and that way you can kind of be consistent with setting up uh, networks like that. So that's all I had for you this video, and stay tuned for future videos.